Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dextroid, and in this video, we're going to talk about what are eSIMs. With the launch of the Apple Watch 3 and Google's Pixel 2, you might have already heard about eSIMs. The new phones, which have dual SIM capability, also comes with the new eSIM technology. But what are eSIMs, and how it is different from regular SIM cards? Well, eSIMs are embedded SIMs. It is as small as the size of your pinky nail, which makes it well suited for compact devices like watches and other devices which don't have enough room to insert a physical SIM card. Though eSIMs are tiny, they are non-removable, just like their name suggests, embedded SIMs. Since the eSIMs are embedded in your device and you cannot remove it, you get an option to switch to a new operator through software. Now let's see how eSIMs are different from regular SIMs. A regular SIM is a piece of plastic which connects to your carrier's network while eSIM is a small chip already built into your phone. With regular SIMs, you will have to order a new SIM card every time you want to change your carrier. While with the eSIM, you simply activate the plan and carrier you like right from your phone. So what makes eSIMs great? Well, first, it makes it easier to switch carriers. You can switch to different carriers right from your phone without inserting a new SIM card. Second, you will be able to activate the best and the latest plans or change the carriers in a matter of minutes and save some money. If you go to a different country, you will be able to connect to a local carrier and pay local prices for a day or for a week or as long as you want. Soon the laptops will come with built-in eSIMs, which means you no longer have to look for a Wi-Fi hotspot or carry around an extra internet device with you. With eSIMs, you will be able to have one data plan for all of your devices such as laptop, phone, tablet, watch, etc. And you don't have to connect to multiple devices or get multiple plans for them. It might sound funny, but in near future, your car, your handbag, and even your cat's collar will have an eSIM in them, and they all will use the same data plan. How cool is that? With eSIMs being accepted by big carriers and manufacturers, will lead to innovative plan types and flexibility. Carriers will have to offer better plans in order to keep up with the competition because eSIMs make switching to different plans and carriers a whole lot easier. For the use of eSIMs on devices like phones, manufacturers will be able to save a lot of space in the device, which means we will be able to see a smaller, thinner, and lighter phones in the future. If your phone has eSIM and your phone gets lost, it will be much easier to track down the lost phone or the lost phone will become completely unusable and there will be no option to insert a SIM card. Well, that was all the great things about eSIMs, but what is the future of eSIM? It is believed that by 2021, about 600 million mobiles and IoT devices will be shipped with eSIMs annually. Most of these devices are going to be smartphones, but vehicles, tablets, watches, computers, and other machines will have eSIMs too. So guys, that was all about eSIMs. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about eSIMs. Are eSIMs going to be the future? Are they any better than the regular SIMS card? And if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and please press that bell icon to get the notification for all of my latest videos. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.